Yes, now that I got the overview out of the way, let's actually play some Steam Marines and the current version. Alright, so we're going to start a new game, even though I already had one going. We are going to play normal difficulty, at least until we unlock New Game Plus, and then we'll move up to hard. Alright, so we'll start at normal, uh, we'll keep the names as they are, Boot, Steady, Oak, Shadow, and we'll play as the default layout for squads. So we'll have one leader, scout, grenadier, and support. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the support class, I actually would rather put in another shotgun guy, but we'll do the default layout to start with. So, warning, cryosleep aborted, adrenal administered, emergency hatch is released, status, engineering unavailable, captain unavailable, non-combatants evacuated, weapons free, recommend sweeping to the elevator and descending. Good luck, Marines. These aren't the Marines I know. They aren't from Call of Duty. These aren't actual Marines, and this game isn't on Steam. I give it a 2 out of 10 Metacritic rating. Okay, so, yeah, let's get to the game. Alright, so, our first layout. Let's take a look at what our characters actually are, since it's not as intuitive as the old interface as I showed before. Alright, so Boots is our leader. He is green. Uh, purple is our scout, I believe. Yeah, looks like he's our scout, yeah. Um... This appears to be our Grenadier, Private Oak, and Shadow. Alright. So actually, I could use the F keys. Alright, so F1. We'll select him. Alright, so we are already standing on mines, and we're already on the elevator as well, so we can just go directly down. But what fun would that be? Psst, progressing in a roguelike. What am I thinking? Alright, so we're going to investigate. Alright, so there is a crate. And we're going to put him on Overwatch, just like we would in if I was playing XCOM. Him, I'm going to have back him up. Oh, there's actually an item there. Lovely. Alright, so we'll grab that on our way out, actually, probably. So we're going to get him off the mine, for starters. Move him down. Overwatch. And I'm going to move him there. Pick up our item. What do we get? We got... Ooh, plastic explosive. Place on door, destroy stuff near door. Interesting. I actually haven't picked up this item before. That's a new one. See, you're already discovering stuff on this playthrough. Alright, so let's have him back up that way. Alright, so we got activity. Active threats nearby! Alright, so how are we gonna handle this situation here? Oh, and one thing I didn't mention in the overview is you can bash through the walls and everything. Which is a nice feature. Alright, so I've got my Grenadier not in the best position. So what I'm going to do is select my Grenadier, move him up one, turn him back around. Let's see his range. Ah, I'm not going to get splash damage on him. Curses. Alright, so we're going to move our shotgun guy, which would be our squad leader. Pick that up. That is a canteen, so this gives us two health and two action points back if I use it. Turn him. Oh, that is not good. That is really not good. <laughs> First game for the channel. And yeah, I'm already in a nice, lovely situation here. Alright, so I'm going to put him in overwatch mode, so if this guy moves at me, it'll knock him back. Oh, I am in a sticky situation here because I can't move him over. Let's see, alright, so I got five moves. That'd be three, one, two, three. Alright, so we're gonna put him on Overwatch here. So we're gonna bait them into our location. Support, I need to get down here. Just so wanna have support go. Here. So, oh, here's another feature I didn't mention. You can knock enemies out into space. So say if I actually got an enemy here with the shotgun blast, or if I get a melee that uh, can do knockback, which is later on with abilities, I can actually knock the enemies into space, which comes in quite handy. Alright, so I need to get the Grenadier in a position he can actually so we'll smash him there. Alright, so... Ooh, I did something stupid. I don't know what. He got hurt, though. Alright, so oh, he tried moving in my shotgun guy blast? Oh, possibly. Ooh, more experience. Okay. Ah, that's not good. 
Alright, so he got hit twice. Yeah, we in a sticky situation. Alright, so my sniper can actually shoot through people, which is nice. So here's what I want to do. I want to see if I can get my grenadier in a flanking position. And he can't smash through that. Damn it! Okay. So we got our shotgun guy. He can blast him back one. And he'll probably take him out. Let me see what his accuracy rate is on this. 7 damage, 100%. Alright, so that'll take him out. Um, do 7 damage to him and take him out. Or move him down. Use this to gain 2 action points and 2 health back. And we'll try and do some damage. Oh, he missed. Are you kidding me? Alright, so he's only got 54% accuracy on that. Alright, so one of them's taken out. Alright, so he's got five. Two, one, two, three. Dear lord! This is probably the worst starting low log I've done in a while. Alright, so he's got two shots. Alright, so that takes one of them out. And two of them out. The one thing that... Uh, I don't want to be using all this ammo, though. That's what kind of sucks, is because I want to manage my resources. Alright, so we'll get him there, have him on Overwatch, just in case they try and flank. Ooh! We're actually coming from here. One, two... Yes, get into my trap. Alright, cool. So the Overwatch came in handy. Oh, but he got a hit off on him. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Let's see, I could do splash. I'd have to get my two marines out of range. Let's see my grenadier. Actually, that's not a half bad plan. Let's move him over. Bash him here. He's still going to do some splash damage there. So, we need to move him. Yeah. And let's launch some nades. Oh, are you kidding me? Of course he must. Alright, so... Turn him to face so he doesn't take any flanking damage if they attack him. Once again, do the same thing for him. Uh, we are in a bad position. I should not be combating all these guys. I should have just gone down the elevator. But that would have been the smart thing to do. And, well, what fun would that be for a Let's Play? Let's see. Alright, so I can turn him. Put him on Overwatch just in case. Let's see what happens. Alright, so he's going to get smacked one. He's getting the range. Oh, one of our Marines is already dead. Lovely. Oh, well, well. Alright, let's take him down a notch. Um, I mean, range. Ain't kidding me. Do the damn it! Are you kidding me? Why is your accuracy such shit? Now we'll do one more shot. And he missed. You're kidding me. Alright, so he's only got one life, so we'll just smack him. Turn back. He's got 29% chance hitting him there. Just smack him. Oh, what did I do? He had one hit point. I'm an idiot. I could have just smacked him once. And five damage. And dead. Wow. This is going to make for a good first episode. Me being an idiot. <laughs> and getting my shit wrecked. Okay, so he's got a 63% chance of hitting. Take him out. Take him out. Alright, cool. So, two down. Two of our guys are already dead on the first level. Lovely, isn't it? So let's turn. Make sure nobody's flanking us. Alright, they're not. And we'll start moving our Grenadier in the front, because he has the most hit points. So he's got ten hit points left. Our uh, support gunner, who I'm not the biggest fan of, only has one hit point. Lovely. 
Alright, so we can pick that up actually next turn. Put him on Overwatch. Alright, yes, here we go. So, can I do all the damage I need? 100%, so 3 damage. Perfect. Take him down a notch. You can smack him, dead. Turn back, we can pick this up. And let's use it, since I have one ability left. And see what it does, so mono, mono, monovox. Sometimes it picks up crates. Uh, it looks like it gives ammo. Let's see. Uh, it did replenish our ammo. Nice. Okay, so it does something random every time. Sometimes it pops up crates that you can uh, explore and everything. Let's get our grenadier hunting. Have some backup. What was that noise? Our inevitable doom. All right. Oh crap. Uh, move, move. Oh god, he's gonna get flanked. Why did I just do that? One, two. Alright, enemy in range. I've got one shot. Three damage, 63%. We'll put him on Overwatch. And, uh, he's getting flanking damage too. Alright, four damage. Alright, took him out. Sweet. Overwatch. And our Grenadier. Pick up this grenade. Enter in here and go in Overwatch mode just in case. There was a ton of enemies for the first level. Damn. Pick this up. What do we get? Okay, we got an hourglass which restores the squad's AP and enemies temporarily gain one AP. That could come in handy later. Alright, so. Yeah, Overwatch mode just in case. We're gonna explore this first floor even if it's the death of us, which it likely will be. Uh, I can smack my way through that. What's that noise? It's me trying to smack through this. There we go. Okay, so, enemies in there. Go into Overwatch mode. Let's see. Oh god! Run away! I am getting pounded with enemies already. Alright, cool. So, that gets him there. We are going to move back. Tactical retreat. Alright, so he's in range. We're gonna move him back. And get him in Overwatch. We are going to fire with our Grenadier. Actually, I could launch. Ooh, actually, hang on. Might be able to take. Yeah, you know what? We are going to use the Hourglass just to try to save some hit points. So now we have four abilities. Okay, so this can do damage up to two tiles away. But, let me see. Alright, so six damage. Alright, he's taken out. Sweet. Plus we do a little bit of destruction in the process. Let's move up a bit. Go into Overwatch. And... Move him up. We're just going to go into Overwatch with him. Phew. I think that would go quite as well as it did. Oh, he's going to get a hit. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so we're down to our last guy. Not good. Yeah, time to go for a tactical retreat. Alright, there he is. Retreat back into here. Alright, so. Oh, I screwed up on that. But I'm not dead yet. Ha <laughs> ha. And launch grenade. 10 damage. I'm dead. Oh, okay, so that is the worst run I have had yet. Wow. Okay, so negative 879 for our score. <laughs> Turns taken 18, levels passed, so you get all these stats at the end. Squad member deaths 4, survivor recruit, kills 10, ammunition expended 44, times used melee 3, damage dealt 143, 59, damage taken, enemies knocked out into space 0, wall smashed 6, crates smashed 1, dispensers used 0, consoles used 0, items grabbed 3, 
Items used four, chest open two, times entered guard mode 18. That is seriously the worst run I've had playing this. Yeah, we'll take a look here. Yeah, even, dear lord. <laughs> that is the worst run I've had to date with this. Of course, it's the first one you see me play. <laughs> it is my number eight run on here. Oh, God. Negative 879. Oh, my God. Okay, so yeah, that, that'll do it for this episode. We'll be back with more Steam Marines, obviously, to redeem myself from that horrible play. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this, uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't uh, done so already. I play lots of different games and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. I need to redeem myself. Oh, that was so horrid.